Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Today we're going to talk about security headers. And security headers um, on your website uh, can make your website much safer. Uh, the data transfer between your browser and the web server basically can be improved. Uh, I find this website here, securityheaders.com. You can scan your own site. Mm, for now, I... Uh, uh, fill in the URL of a Dutch news website. <clears throat> so you can see it has a content security policy enabled, strict transfer security enabled, X content type options enabled, and X frame options enabled. Content security policy is also um, a policy that when you have a website, um, the most preferred option would be to load images and, and links and everything making sure that all the connections from your domain to other domains um, are monitored and you can whitelist and blacklist those kind of things. It's very important to know if you have certain elements or plugins, then where the information is coming from, because that can be exploited. Um, transport security has to do with data connection. X content type has to do with, for instance, cross-site scripting options uh, on your website or options um, that your site is vulnerable to cross-site scripting. That's how I should say it. <clears throat> so, you know, you have your own website or you just do want to do a scan, uh, go to securityheaders.com. This site has a A, so it's, it's pretty well. I fill in my own website and it's not really looking good because I don't have it enabled yet. But I will show you also uh, in a minute how to do that. Supported by properly. It's, it has a good grade. Here's some raw uh, information about the headers. Um, so, see, server, what more can we see? Do we have any information about the CMS? I don't see that. These are the missing headers, so you can see what is a refer policy, a permissions policy. Is there any warning in the content security policy? There is a warning. Uh, and additional information here about X frame options. Tells the browser whether you want to allow your site to be framed or not. By preventing a browser from framing your site, you can defend against attacks like clickjacking. So <clears throat> security headers. Uh, can make your website uh, more secure and the interaction between the browser and your web server more secure. Let's say, for instance, you get the great F here. I found a very good website here uh, from the friends at Clustered Networks. Uh, they also have a YouTube video for you to, to check um, and how to implement it. Well, um, I would say 99.2% of all web servers are Apache-based. Um, and then you have something like an HT access file for everybody that works at websites. They understand what this is. Um, if you want to implement all these kind of um, security headers, you can just copy paste this uh, and add it to your own uh, HT access file. Um, also for when you use ng and x. Um, the basically what you need to do is, is log in either with FTP or through uh, a terminal and connect to your uh, web server and add this in here. Um, so basically you need to copy this. You can also do, do everything here so you know exactly model. Because if you put here this uh, hashtag, it's, it's basically um, uh, uncommitted. Not not committed like you out committed, uh, but then you know that this little piece of data is all about the security headers, uh, which need to be implemented on the Apache web server. So this is basically the video. Uh, security uh, headers are important for the security of your website and for um, basically the the users, the visitors of your website. It's often overlooked by. Um, web developers because this is more of a, a security thing to do uh, not even secure development or secure coding this is really uh, about the security headers of your website hope that makes sense to you and if you have any questions just please let me know uh, and i'm looking forward to do more videos uh, in the upcoming weeks thanks for watching have a great day